on everyone I'm back here with another video and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to downgrade and or use two separate versions of Final Cut Pro simultaneously on a single Mac OS system um, and the process in doing this is actually quite simple <coughs> uh, there is just a few steps uh, and things that you must do uh, for this to be able to work at all uh, so this should work on most of the current versions of macOS that is currently available. <coughs> uh, that being uh, macOS High Sierra, uh, Mojave, and Catalina. Uh, so this process should theoretically work on any of those operating systems. Um, now I have not tested it on Catalina, so I cannot 100% say if it will work indeed on that. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get started with the first thing. And that first thing is being you must have an older version of Final Cut Pro currently installed on your system for this to work. Um, if you have already upgraded uh, from an old version of Final Cut up to the most current version, which I believe is 10.4.8, um, unfortunately, this will not work for you. So this is only going to work for those of you that currently have an older version of Final Cut Pro and that have not updated. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you need to do is jump over to your applications folder um, on your system and you want to locate Final Cut Pro. And like I said, uh, this will be whatever the current version is that you currently have. And this will also work if you have a different Mac that has an older version of Final Cut Pro st uh, stored or installed on it. Uh, you can also do that from that system as well and copy it over if you so choose. Uh, but anyway, um, I don't want to get too confusing with this. Uh, so to keep it simple, uh, you want to go into your applications folder here. You want to go up to the status bar and finder, create a new folder. And you just basically can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to do FCPX. There you go. Okay. Name it as such. And then after you do that, what we want to do is go back to the actual Final Cut Pro application. If I can find it, I don't know where it just went to. There we go. Okay, so then you want to right click on that and go down to Compress Final Cut Pro. And basically, you're going to now uh, compress that application into a zip file. So we're going to have to just go ahead and let that continue. Okay, so now that the application has been compressed into a zip file, uh, what you need to do then is just go ahead and drag that file into that folder that you'd created earlier. And then now what you need to do is <coughs> plug in an external hard drive. Um, this can be used either with an external hard drive or a flash drive. It is preferred to use a physical a hard drive because it will run a, a bit faster than what a flash drive will do. Um, so in my case, I'm going to be using an external hard drive that I have right here connected. And so what you need to do from that point is just grab that folder that you created with the zip file now inside and just drag it over to your external drive. And effectively what you're doing in this process is basically backing up uh, the old version of Final Cut Pro. And that's basically all this is doing. And then once it's backed up, uh, you can then run it off of the external drive, which I'll show in just a minute. Okay, so there we go. So that is now over on the external drive, as we see here. Uh, and if you open it up, there's that zip file uh, that we created. And then from there, what we need to do, you can just click it and unzip it now and have it expand the file out into that folder. And the reason why we pressed the application in the first place is basically to make it easier to transfer to the external drive and to ensure that all of the contents uh, that are held within the application uh, get transferred over uh, without leaving any files behind. So let's go ahead and let it now unzip that file. Okay, so there we have the Final Cut Pro application now unzipped and is now within that folder on the external drive. 
So now the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to back up your project libraries. Uh, if you have any projects currently in progress. If you do not have any project libraries or any projects currently in progress, you can skip this step. Uh, but for those of you that have a project library that you want to back up, you then want to go into your movies folder here and find your Final Cut Pro library uh, that contains all of your currently in progress projects. So the one that I have here is named AJSK Projects, and that's the one that has all of my finished and or currently being worked on uh, videos. So basically the same step applies. The only difference is you do not need to zip this file to transfer it over. So basically you just can go and drag and drop that file straight over to your external drive and you'll be totally fine. All right, so now that you have basically backed up your uh, Final Cut Pro application as well as your project libraries, uh, you then can now proceed to go to the App Store and download the uh, most current or updated version of Final Cut Pro. And I have actually already done that. Uh, so you can see here, I've now updated it to the most current version, which is 10.4.8, which the version that I updated from is 10.4.4, which is the version that I actually just backed up. So basically... That is effectively all you now need to do to be able to run two separate versions of Final Cut Pro on one macOS system simultaneously. So the way to get it to work now, so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to run them. You cannot run them uh, at the same time, side by side, so you only can run one version at a time. So let's go ahead and open up 10.4.4 uh, first. So let's go ahead and click on the application icon. And there you go. You can see we are running on 10.4.4. And so from here, because of the fact you're going to be switching between uh, two separate versions, uh, it's going to ask you which uh, library you'd like to open. So from this, this is the library that is currently installed on the system. So for this particular version, you're going to want to click Locate. And you want to go and locate the library that you just backed up onto your external drive. And I currently have it set into this folder here and right there. So you click on that and hit open. And so there you go. So now it has opened that library for that particular version of Final Cut Pro. And then you can instantly start working on it. Now the files, of course, I don't they're not linked currently and I have to relink the files, but that's no big deal. But yeah, so there you go with that. So now if I close out of this version and now close this, and if we open up the version that is currently installed on the system, 0.4.8. There we go. You can see right here, 10.4.8. And since this is a a uh, new version of Final Cut Pro that does require the updating of your project library. Um, right now, it's trying to draw from the external drive, which you do not want to do. Otherwise, your libraries will be completely ruined and cannot be opened in the older version. So you want to hit cancel on that. And then once again, you want to go and find the library that's installed on the internal drive. And that would be this one here on the Macintosh HD. Choose. And then there we go. So now that is now open and running via the library that's installed on the internal drive. And there you go. So that's basically it. You have now successfully basically backed up versions of Final Cut Pro and can run them simultaneously. If you ever have any problems on the newer version or have any compatibility issues, you can then instantly downgrade and open up the older version that you had been using previously and be able to continue working on your projects uh, that may not be supported on the new version and or the new version of uh, mac os yeah that's pretty much it for this video hope you guys have enjoyed if you guys have any questions uh just go ahead and leave a comment down below and i'll try my best to help you guys out and walk you through uh any problems that may come up in the process of doing this um, yeah, with that all being said, hope you guys have enjoyed once again. Uh, hit that subscribe button down below, it's greatly appreciated. And hit that like button as well, that is also much, much appreciated. And lets me know that you guys are enjoying my videos. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.